Right now we're looking at another warm up heading into next week, right, Kristen? It's crazy. We had 80 degrees on uh, Halloween, which was and, just wild, right? Wild. And then uh, temperatures dropped by about 20, 25 degrees. Today was just a little above normal. It'll be chilly tonight. You see the temperatures in the 40s already into the Laurel Highlands. We're at 43 in Somerset, Washington and Beaver are down to 49. Butler, you're at 48, Indiana, 45, Latrobe, 46, and we'll dip down there about another 10 to 12 degrees by tomorrow morning into the 30s, which is normal for this time of year. But what's not normal is that we start another big warm up tomorrow afternoon. The first step into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon, so that'll be about five to seven degrees warmer than average for this time of year. And then that's just step one by Monday, Tuesday, we're in the 70s, even close to 80 degrees, possibly record temperature. Maybe on Tuesday, 80 degrees is not out of the question. Some models are hinting at 79, 80 degrees. 80 is the record high set on Tuesday in 1948. And by the way, November 5th, 1948, that's the latest in the year on record that Pittsburgh hit 80 degrees ever. We could do that and tie that again on Tuesday, so we shall see. The question is going to be how soon will a cold front come in that will bring us clouds and hopefully a little chance for some rain later Tuesday night. If it takes its time, we could see close to record highs across portions of the Northeast. The long range temperature trend. This is November 10th through the 16th from the Climate Prediction Center. A very good chance that we'll still stay above normal temperatures for really the whole eastern half of the country through the middle of the month. Now the drought monitor has not improved either. As you might have guessed, we still have exceptional drought, extreme drought down through southwestern portions of Greene County and even severe drought through Washington and Greene County. Abnormally dry conditions are present in about 80% of the continental US. So a lot of folks hoping for rain. We don't have much of a chance of that until we get to the latter part of the week and even then there's not a whole lot of it. We may get a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain if we're lucky. So it'll be Tuesday night through the day Wednesday and then possibly a few showers to end the week if we get lucky. Here's a look at future cast in temperature mode and there's really not to not a lot of work to do in the uh, cloud or precipitation department. We stay nice and clear tonight. Lows dip down to those 30s and lots of sunshine tomorrow. It'll be a beautiful day fall, but maybe a little warmer than average fall feeling upper 50s to the north 60s from Pittsburgh to the south. Then clouds begin to roll in Monday morning. We're only in the 40s for Monday morning, a little warm than tomorrow and then as we head toward Monday afternoon the high 71 by Tuesday we will be headed toward close to 80 degrees 34 and clear tonight 65 tomorrow a little warmer than today but still very very nice comfortable fall day don't forget to change your clocks we fall back tonight turn the clocks back an hour and then for Monday 72 that starts three straight days of 70s lower 70s on Monday 79 on Tuesday we could see 80 degrees if that front slows down enough that election day should be nice and dry. Wednesday showers off and on through the day and then we cool down, but only to the 60s.